creepy narrow inroads. Okay, so I'm at the CTM station, which is like in the middle of nowhere. And the CTM has finally come, but it's half an hour late. And when you come here, you need to go up to the ticket office over here. Ticket, 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 ticket. Which ticket? Oh. So, as I said, you have to go up to the ticket office over there. Show them your ticket, and if you got luggage, you gotta pay five dirhams for if you have a big luggage. But yeah. Okay, so this ATM's come half an hour late, but I have heard people saying that it's left half an hour early and they've missed it. So I recommend getting here early. I got here just bang on 10:45. So my ATM is at 10:45, and I arrived in Fez at three something, I think. Um, but yeah, leave early because I had to pack as well in the morning so basically i left buying my ticket lastminute.com and then last night when i was having dinner in the restaurant there was a ticket left but i didn't even book it um so done my shirt off and then when i went back to the hotel i went online to book it and it was gone so i was like crap and then this morning for breakfast when i was having breakfast i looked again online and there was a ticket available for the 10:45 slot which is the one i originally wanted and i just booked it there and then I paid, uh, I don't know, online paid on my card using Monzo. Um, so yeah. And then I had to have breakfast, quickly pack. Because I hadn't packed yet because I thought uh, all, all the tickets were sold out. So I just go to the, I was going to go to the ticket office like, later on in the day, try and get a ticket on the day. So I was going to pack like later on after breakfast. But when I got the ticket in the morning, I had to like, rush to pack. I didn't have to, my, I think it was already in the suitcase. I just had to like tidy some things up and put things back. So it didn't take long. And then I had to go from the hotel out to outside of the Medina to the Hassan something. Let me check. Um, I think it's the, it's the Avenue Hassan 2. I went there and yeah, leave early because the, the the stairs going up and down with the luggage, the 20 kg bag and a backpack. It's very very exhausting. I was out of breath and I'm trying to rush to get there. And very tiring. Um, but yeah, and then once I got out of the Medina, I had to look for a taxi. And I don't know how to even get a taxi over here, but finally um, I saw a blue taxi come and I had to hell with it, I put my hand out and then I was like CTM, CTM and I was like okay, it's like 15 dirham, I was like okay, and then I got in, dropped me here at 10.45 I was like, I said I've missed it, but um, yeah the CTM hadn't even come yet, so it came, it's supposed to be at 10.45 but it's come at 11, um, 11, 12 past 11 basically. Early, and don't leave your booking your tickets last minute like I did. I'm so tired. I had such a bad sleep last night. Could not sleep at all, and I feel like I'm getting sick. I've got sore throat, and I feel very clogged up in my nose. And I think my body's just exhausted. I'm very, very tired. I've been very tired in the past the past few days. But yeah, the CTM is basically like a normal coach back in London, in the UK. It's like a normal coach, but and it's air conditioning as well. So as I was saying, for your, if you've got like a big luggage, you'll pay five dirham at the ticket office and they give you like a sticker uh, and then you put the sticker on your on your baggage. And I've got my, my hand luggage backpack here and my side bag. And yeah, I managed to get a bottle of water before I got my taxi. Once I got outside of the Medina. And the bottle of water was cheap, like six dirhams. Um, yeah, also I'm... I'm so sick of the Moroccan breakfasts in the morning. It's just all bread. I'm gonna be hungry. It's like a three hour, over three hour journey. I think three and a half hours. Um, coach ride. So you got different coloured coaches, there's a like yellow one, a red one, a CTM is a white one and it says CTM. Because when I got here I was like so confused what, what it is. And everyone, nobody here was speaking English. But they told me to go to the ticket office. But the, the ticket guy at the ticket office, he spoke English very well, so that's good. 
Okay, so we just made a stop um, where there's got cafes and toilets, and I've just ordered some food. It's a like a taco, but it's basically a wrap. They call it a taco, some chips, and a coke. It's costing about around about 40 dirhams, so not that much, like a couple pounds. But yeah, thank God, because I was starving. I haven't even had breakfast properly, and I was getting hungry on the on the on the bus. And my stomach was hurting. So thank like thank God we stopped to have food. I really need food. I was getting that you know that hungry feeling where you start feeling sick. That's how I was feeling. Okay, so we finished up eating. Food was really really good, and now we're heading back onto the coach. And after a three and a half hour CTM bus ride, I have made it to Fez and I'm in my Riyadh, it's like a hostel Riyadh, but I've got my own private room and I've just come up on the rooftop on the terrace to check out the views and it looks incredible. We are like just outside the Medina and yeah, I'm gonna go exploring later on. I'm so so tired, like I'm exhausted from the actual waterfalls and waking up really early today I'm so tired because we were gonna go me and Rebecca we were gonna go um, wake up 6 30 we had alarms to go and see the sunrise um, but when we woke up when I woke up it was already daylight the sunrise already went and it's also um, very cloudy as well so I woke up early and I did not get a good sleep last night sleep was so bad like on my neck my head my shoulders just been hurting me and my calves are so stiff and tight from hiking and trekking the steep hills and stairs yesterday so I'm so exhausted but this is, how, this is the views that I'm seeing And just in the distance over there, you can see mountains. How cool is that? And this is like the downstairs, not downstairs, but below the rooftop upstairs. There's this like seating area, it looks so cool. Very bohemian vibes going on. So this is my door when you come in, you've got a mirror here, very dusty though. And then you've got these stained glass windows which open up onto the main part. Mm -hmm. 
and then you come in, got mm -hmm. bathroom, it's over here. Just standard, nothing fancy. And then coming over here, the twin room. Again, it's just standard, nothing fancy. Thank God there's an AC in Chef Showen. The hotels in Chef Showen don't have AC. I don't know why they don't, they only have fans. Um, but yeah, it's so nice to be in an AC now. And there's no there's no window in this room. It's so strange that there's no window. I'm gonna wake up in the morning in the dark. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up my circadian rhythm. Don't know. It's just a very standard uh, hostel style. Riyadh. I did book another Riyadh and then I cancelled it, which was a little, bit, a little bit more expensive and then I cancelled it and booked this one because it was cheaper Fez has re have really nice Riyadhs and I just wish that I had kept that one because this one is alright but if you're on a budget then it'll be fine but I wasn't even on a budget like I don't mind spending more money to get a nicer place and the one that I originally booked um, was a lot nicer my white balance is a bit off, I haven't changed the white balance from the rooftop um, But yeah, it was a lot nicer, but I cancelled it because it was a little bit more pricey And I'm only here for two nights, like one full day, but two nights So I'm like, what's the point of spending money on a more pricey Riyadh? Um, but yeah, now I don't know what to do because it feels weird coming here like, in the middle of the day But I'm so tired, I just want to nap and my throat is sore I feel like I'm getting sick because of all the exhaustion it's just um, coming on to me but yeah I've got a headache and I'm tired <clears throat> so I'm just gonna try and take a nap as well it's very loud and noisy outside like you can hear everything um, yeah I'm gonna try and take a nap and then go out and explore later on and go out to eat I don't know if I'll be able to sleep the pillows are like the white pillow <clears throat> is very firm and I like my pillows soft I have neck and shoulder problems so I can never find a proper pillow that I'm comfortable with because even my pillow at home I, some days I'm getting on well with it some days I hate it and then the pillows in Chef Show and in the hotel over there one was too flat and then because it was two pillows, if we put them two together, then it was too thick and too high and I felt like it was breaking my neck. And these pillows are quite firm and high, <clears throat> but I just have neck problems anyway. So that's just me. But hopefully I can get, still get a good night's sleep. But yeah, I'm going to try and take a nap and I'll see you in a bit. So just about to head out for dinner. And I thought I'd just show you what the courtyard looks like. And then you've also got like, shared dorms like here and one here as well. And then basically, a riad if you don't know what it is, it's like a, a guest house, so like an open courtyard. And then on all the levels, you've got rooms that look into the courtyard. And yeah, it's quite nice. But yeah, let's head out to dinner. It's a place that I've got on my list on Google Maps. So I'm just going to go over there. And just over here is where I ate. It's called Li Tarbush. And it was quite nice. I had the kifta tagine and a banana milkshake. The banana milkshake was just standard um, a banana milk, um, homemade banana milkshake kind of thing. And yeah, the tagine was quite nice. I really liked it. But I am so so tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. Like my my calves are hurting from hiking. 
and yeah I, I thought this was like in in the Medina but it's not the Medina the Medina is like more further inwards um, yeah, let's go this way my creepy narrow inroads okay so google maps does work because we're like outside the medina um i haven't gone into the medina i wanted to what i wanted to do was explore today because that's what i wanted to do because that's why i was going to leave chef Shuan early which i did and then i wanted to go out and explore but so tired and my body so tired just, i just crashed and i was trying to sleep i couldn't sleep my head and my neck my throat was hurting and i was trying to sleep and i couldn't and then eventually decided after like trying to sleep for like two hours to take two paracetamols and then my headache and sore throat went away and then i eventually fell asleep a bit and then i woke up with my mom face facetimed me and then i forced myself to get up and go out to eat which i needed to because i was hungry and i wouldn't i wouldn't go to sleep or i wouldn't be able to sleep on an empty stomach so yeah so now i'm heading back and gonna go straight to bed and I am back in my room. My hair is looking like a real mess. Um, the food was nice. I liked it. Um, and now I'm just tired and going to sleep. I had the AC left on, so the room's nice and cold. But it's still it's still really hot outside. It's still about um, 25, 29-ish. I've got the BBC weather app and then the iPhone weather app, and they both say different things. So. It's about 25, 29 um, degrees right now, and it's 10 p.m. So quite, it's quite warm. But it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel that hot because it's, it's in the night and the sun. But it's still like quite hot and humid. And then I check the weather tomorrow. It's going to be about 34, 37 degrees. So it's going to be really hot. So I actually can't wait. Like I really like the heat. Um, I love the heat. But I can't wait. Tomorrow I've got a guided tour, private guided tour with fab fez and that's gonna be a full day tour um i initially wanted it from 9 a.m um but she was booked with someone else doing a half day tour so mine's gonna be from 2 p.m so after breakfast i'm gonna just gonna go out exploring try and explore as much as i can see the medina and there's some other there's some other like um fresh food marketplace that I saw on a, uh, a vlog on YouTube that someone went to um, and you can get some like street food from there as well I think so I'm gonna go there and just explore around and see if I can check out the Medina because I haven't seen the Medina yet um, but yeah so far Fez it's like it's like back home it's like Pakistan basically you've got the uh, the old part of Fez which is this part where we're in and where the Medina is, and then outside that you've got the, the newer, modern part of Fez. But the old part of the Medina part is what the touristy part is, where everyone comes to see and stay in. Um, I also got talking with a guy uh, today who's also a solo traveller. Met him at Chef Chouin, um CTM station, we were both going to Fez. Um, so we, like, we were talking and then exchanged Instagrams and he messaged me while I was having dinner and said if you want to go out tomorrow for like lunch or dinner I was like yeah sure I was like I'm go I got my tour from 2pm so we could meet up before that um, or we could meet up for dinner as well um, so we're both here for like um, two nights and then we're both going to Marrakesh um, on the same day, the day after tomorrow um, he's going to go to Marrakesh in the morning I'm going to go a bit little later on in the day i think i'm not sure i need to check what the train times are i'm going to take the train uh, instead of the bus because the bus from first to marrakesh is about 10 hours and the train is about six six and a half hours i'm going to do that um but i'm just going to get the ticket on the day because train tickets 
you can there'll be like a lot of seats available so I'm gonna do that um, I look so tired don't I yeah also I moved bed I moved to this side instead of that side because you can like see the lights from outside from the, the glass window and above the doors like another glass window as well stained glass window and you can see the lights so I changed to this side there's some people downstairs in the courtyard um, I can't be bothered to go and say hi my social battery is gone and yeah I'm just gonna go sleep and breakfast is served so late over here it's served at 9 30 and the hotel in chef and that was serving breakfast late as well at 8 30. usually in the hotels breakfast is served from like 7 a.m well in resorts at least but yeah usually from like seven is it seven no eight o'clock yeah usually breakfast is served from eight in resorts eight to like ten um and then in Shoshua the hotel the breakfast was from 8 30 to 10 30 which is nice because you can get a bit of a a, a, a lay-in lion um but yeah in this hotel the breakfast is from 9 30 so i have a bit of a lion but it's also annoying because like, i have to wait until 9 30 to have breakfast and then go out to exploring so like a waste a bit of time in the morning also I'm gonna see if they can if they can make if they have eggs I'm sick of having Moroccan breakfast it's just bread there's they, they have like a bit of well I don't know what the breakfast over here will be like but in Chef Chouin, in my hotel it's just like a like baguette kind of bread like cut up and then there's like some flat bread which is like uh, burrata basically and then there's like um, the round uh, some like some sort of like round bread and there's like butter and jam the butter is really nice the butter is really nice and the coffee is nice and the orange juice is so nice it's fresh and sweet but I'm just sick of having just like bread it's just all bread like I want some I want some fried egg <clears throat> but yeah I thought it was sore but anyways I'm gonna go to bed and I'll catch you in the morning <laughs>